just listening to Malcolm X's speech about the Lord. And the man was a master communicator, a great leader. And he was giving the audience the rundown of the philosophy of what was necessary in order to attain a victory. And it was to give the black people control over their community economics because the white people had been oppressing them so much. And this is something that has occurred on the planet over and over again where different groups are oppressing other groups. And I want to sort of move away from the racism. I want to move away from us versus them in terms of how we see how we are going to attain victory. We are not going to attain victory by beating anybody. We're not going to attain victory by controlling, sending armies and using violence to attain a victory. That's the way of the past. That's the way of the old paradigm. That's the way of fear. That's what they will have you believe. Humans want a good life. They want a lovely life. Like if I'm speaking to every individual human on the planet right now, I would say, you know, what do you want? Like who are you? Like we are, we are all being fundamentally. Ask the same question. You know, who and what do you identify with? We may say, I'm a Christian, or I'm a Muslim, or I'm a Jew, or I'm a something. And that identification with that worldview creates the beginning of the wars, right? All these wars our belief systems and value systems fighting one another, trying to get dominance, trying to win, trying to get control of the planet's resources, or the resources of the geographical area around. And we come up with all of these histories, frameworks, languages to explain, to describe, to communicate what certain people think have happened in order, in order for humans to, let's say, understand what has occurred to get us to now. And there's this mass of history, all of these, this information, books, and media, all of this explanation to go to your mind to explain to you what is occurring. And so the human takes in this information and is trying to figure out who they are in the midst of all of this and a disinformation and truth. And I want to suggest something to you. I want to suggest that if we are going to evolve as a species, if we are going to truly create a world that is good for all. And I think this is fundamentally what we need, right? We need, we need a philosophy that unifies the planet where we can begin to agree upon certain fundamental principles or laws that are good for everybody. And I think one of the most important ones is the golden rule. Do unto others as you want done unto yourself. So th there's a lot of fabrication. Fab fabrication. It's a hard word to say sometimes. Fab fabrication. Like you're fabricating, you're creating something. Human beings create things. And then we get other human beings to use these things. 
and we may not be thinking at the level of the species. We may not be thinking of how can we all live together. And I'm saying to you, I have an idea. I have a plan. I have a methodology. I have a process. I have tools. I spent my entire life asking the Almighty to use me as a vessel. And I waited. And I said, you know, <laughs> give me the goods. And the goods came in. And if anyone has had any experience of God realization, you realize that there is a magnificent, incredible, uh, you cannot give words to the expression of the expanse of the universe. We are something trying to get you to believe ever is the story that they want you to believe it's like if I agree to believe humans believe something, they jump in, they, they are, they get passionate, they get committed, they bring your energy, they bring everything they are into something. systems, national governance systems. These are the methodologies of running the country. That is the organizational structure of humans in the 21st century 3D right now, right? We have the leader of a country, supposedly leader is doing something for the good of the people, supposedly. But what I'm saying to you is you have to question the authority. You have to question who's leading us right now. Because we're getting media, we're getting information that isn't quite right. And every human being has to question this and go, is this going to be good for the species? Is this going to be good for me? And if you think that it's not, if you think there's some sort of parasitical, evil, devious, deceptive force that has control of our species, has control of the media system, is making events happen so that we, we react in a certain way. And you say to yourself, I don't want to participate in that. There are billions of us and hundreds of thousands of them. They have set up this world, they have set up the infrastructure, they have set up the banking systems, and they play with us. 
and we think we're involved. We think we're participating in, in a democracy. We think we're actually doing something, but in fact, we're just talking. Talk, 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 doing our little thing, having our little houses, doing our little things. And as long as the humans who are controlling things, they're hiding, they're in their way somewhere. We don't know who they are. We can't name them. If you name them, you die. If you name them, if you actually say what I'm saying, they kill you, right? But now, Everything's different. Internet, global communication system. I'm a lone human being and I can say, guess what? You know, I don't believe anything you're saying. And I'm saying this, I've done research. I looked at that and that and that and that and that and that. And I have a new understanding of what I think is actually happening on this planet at this time. I'm not saying I'm smarter than you. I'm not sorry to say that I'm more intelligent. I'm not saying that I have the truth. But I have, as a sovereign being, the right to express my opinion. Right? Every human being has the right to express their opinion. And I'm only one individual, but all I've done all my life is research and study, try to understand where I am, who I am, what am I doing here? Why am I here? And I'm looking at, okay, there's a guy like Jesus. There's a guy like Buddha. Like, there are prophets. There are human beings who reach a level of God realization, and all of a sudden they go, guys, uh, you know, there's something here that you're not paying attention to. And if you don't pay attention to it, you're gonna miss out on the best thing that's ever occurred in your entire life. You're gonna focus your money on your family, and your money, your possessions. You're just gonna do this life thing without coming to the conclusion that your life is to experience a spiritual awakening. We are immortal souls. We exist for, kind of like forever. We're trapped on this planet, in this world, trapped here somehow. There's a technology, there's something. We, we're born again and again and again. We come back in in groups, soul groups. We have these words to talk about these things, but no one seems to know what's going on. But there's this overriding infrastructure of beings, parasites, whoever the fuck they are, I don't know who they are, that are manipulating things to such a degree that our lives are fucked with, our forests are fucked with, the whole planet is being fucked with. Do you understand? Do you get it? And you're here, you're an individual, you're going, okay, well, what do I do? I, you know, I, I am a Christian, or I'm a Muslim, or I'm a Hindu, or I'm a Buddhist, or I'm a this, I'm a that. These are all worldviews. These are all ways the mind gets organized by some sort of prophet that said, there is a God, and God said to me, wake the fuck up, right? But then here we are, 21st century, 3D Earth, sitting on a couch, watching TV, eating our food, going to work, doing our thing. And I know, I know, I know there's tons of you. There's so many humans that are like, you know, I'm not so sure that we should be doing things the way they are. But we have to live, we have to exist. Every individual has a life. You, 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 you have to produce, to create, to fulfill yourself, right? We have these jobs, and these jobs that we get paid, we get paid, you can create the lifestyle that you want, and you have the family that you want, and you have all of these things. 
and I know that all of you are very, very comfortable in whatever you think is reality. I just want to say to you, you know, every human entities or beings or groups or organizations or whoever they are, screw with us. We don't bring that into the conversation. We don't take that into account. We're missing what's actually occurring. I know we have national governance systems that have been in place before we were born, born into these systems, we're born into massive systems, and there are elections and media systems, and all these things that exist. Why this exists? And every human being has a mind, every human being has a heart, every human being fundamentally just wants to live a life and not be in a war, not be attacked, killed. These are horrible things. And in some countries, we never experience it. And in other countries, they experience a lot of it. We don't seem to care or know what's happening all across the planet. We should. You know, what's happening over there is affecting us. What's happening over there is affecting us. And so we need to have truly wise, harmonious, intelligent leaders who care for the planet, who care for the people, who have an innate understanding, understanding, whatever the word is, they're not just looking for themselves, they're not looking for that looking for it to, to, to appease or to make good for somebody. They're just making intelligent decisions that are good for everybody. And if, if you took away the corruption, if you took away all of the ways that we're lied to, deceived, all the thousands of years of all of this stuff, we would be left with a very, very good world. We're in an ecosystem that doesn't charge us money to live, it produces air, it produces water. Not in harmony with the indigenous leaders, the First Nations people who were in tune with the planet, in tune with the earth, who knew how to connect and understand how to how to be in harmony with other species. They've been extinguished, they've been attacked, they've been just pulverized. And I don't know who these are. I don't know if it's an aliens. I don't know if it's humans. I don't know if it's families. But in my opinion, they just, they don't have the good, the whole species at heart. And we're letting them ruin our world. Because we're not willing to stand up and speak our truth. We're not willing to say, you know, none of this is, 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 is right. It's all so big. They have armies and they have media systems and they have 
banking system. They had, everything is seemingly against the individual human who says no. Who says you're not allowed to do that. It's not right. You know, and it all comes down to our belief system. What do you believe? What do you believe to be true? And if we're going to enter into a place where we treat each other well, where we're not just selfishly thinking about what am I going to get out of this, we're thinking about man, how is this going to impact me? How is this going to impact my family? How is this going to impact the people? How is this going to impact all the other animals, all the other species? You know, we have consciousness. We have this supposed mind. We're supposedly intelligent. Why aren't we using it? We're not using it because we're being fucked. We're being fucked with by forces. We don't understand. We're being fucked with in ways we couldn't even comprehend because they're, they're so intelligent and they're so manipulative and their designs are You get, you get exasperated. You don't know what to do. We're in a state of confusion. I, I, I would love to give the impression of being some incredible, huge, superhuman being to help them solve all the problems. I spent my entire, entire life, but I sort of woke up and things just didn't seem right. And so all I did was. I asked the Creator, you know, help us out. Teach me. Like, show me. Like, just, you know, whatever you are. And I mean, I don't know. You guys think about, again, God or God realization or higher intelligence, higher intelligences, all that. But they exist. They're out there. They're communicating with us. And, you know, whether it's the news or who, PhDs or scientists, all the, all the people that have credibility that say this is the way it is, you know, they, they don't know. There might be a child among us who's talking to Pleiades that's getting information that will change our planet. And nobody knows that this child is going, I don't know why. I've talked to so many different people that have had spiritual awakenings in different ways. And I, I, I experienced things that aren't in books, aren't talked about in media. There's a whole other world out there that, again, if you, if you, if you stopped fucking with us, you know, we just might begin to sort of peacefully examine. higher states of consciousness and speak to beings that are wise and intelligent and loving. I don't mean that in God, God is in everything. There isn't every everything. My own experience is just kind of like that. <laughs> you know, you, you're just left in in utter awe. You're, you're left in your little speck of sand in the Nowhere, you're thinking, you know, who am I in, in connection to this? But there's this intelligence, there's this, there's something that comes to you, and you go, and it doesn't mean that I'm a prophet, that everyone's got access, it doesn't mean that I'm anything. I mean, I'm not trying to say, oh, I'm the one, I'm the ego, you know, follow the one. We're all the one, we're all like cells in the mind of God. And then it's like, what do you do with it? But how can you do something if you're within an environment that is always twisting, always something, always something off? You know, 
like if plants had to fucking pay money to get their you know light you know it's like wait a minute you know it, there's these artificial things that have been put into place and they they're there to fuck with us and you know we call it society we call it economic infrastructure we call it banking systems but there's basically this interest on interest that can never be repaid and and, and all this funny money and, and, it, and it's all artificial and it's not connected to like growing food and connected to the real things of life and that was because there's eight or nine or how many billion of us you know we're just talk, 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 talk. we've gone insane you know we've gone insane and we need to stop just to stop, build a whole new system. And personally, I've spent all my time designing something like that. And I'm sure there's others out there that are not kindly thinking they have. These are the inventors, we're the originators, we're the people who are trying to figure things out no matter what. We're not being paid, we're just here attempting to live a life, but not going along with the party line, not going along with all the things everyone's saying and going, well, I'm just going to do my own thing here. I love what you're doing. You're really nice. And I'm going to just kind of think of that and research. And then you, you see things different. And you realize that. Given this gift of creativity, given this gift of consciousness, given this gift of life. And we're here. And there's all these other entities out there. And we can, you know, are we going to connect to fear and hatred and guns and violence? to connect with that. We're going to connect with love, harmony, peace, and understanding. You know, if you look at life, you know, I don't know if I said anything. I mean, it just everything seems obvious to me. And I understand that people like myself are usually like bang killed um, or even questioning the official party line or, or questioning the governments and economic infrastructures have any relevance. Well, it's in place. This is what we do. This is the way it is. And this is how it is. And to me, we, you know, we can begin small and design little eco villages that are fully sustainable using the technology of the day and bring together loving human beings and creating communities that are really good for everybody. You know, the whole thing is there's a war around belief. And there's this kind of, you know, this authoritarian old paradigm thinking these other human beings when in fact we just have to, to learn how to live together and there's no, nothing more important than communication because communication is what happens before violence if you and I can start to talk and communicate you know we're going to begin to understand one another but if we're very different and we're fighting for scarce resources it's going very badly, but it's the way things are being organized. There's a huge scam going on. And you either really understand that or you go along with the scam. And it seems like on the planet right now, most people go along with the scam because they don't know anything else. And it's time to stop. Honestly, just stop. Figure out for yourself, you know, am I a sovereign being? What do I stand for? What 
do I believe it? Do I want a burden of fear? Or do I want that's your big choice? Fear. It's pretty simple. That's the first choice that after that is love that we have to build things from. Fear. Love it. Do you read the 21st century book? Thanks for listening. My name is Elijah. Uh, I know I, I have delicious and grand here. I just, it's just. Exist on this beautiful place we call.